if you happen to be building this for FPV and are using the 5.8 gigahertz system, uh, the stock transmitter antenna comes like this and what's inside is actually a quarter wave dipole antenna that fits nicely vertically inside the fuselage like this. It should be mounted ideally with the antenna element pointed down towards the ground. Next best thing is up, but not forwards or sideways. Also, if you want to go fancy with a skew planer like this, which is better for a receiver, or a clover leaf, which is better for the transmitter, this also will fit nicely inside a two inch square like that with this antenna element pointed down. And so why make this radius paper strip half an inch? Well, I've just done a little experimentation and found that that amount of space tends to promote the foam board just making a nice radius. A smaller strip, like this is just a little eighth of an inch slit, it will fold up nicely, but what it seems to do is it compresses the foam inside to the extent that it actually sort of breaks the foam apart, and to me that that compromises the strength. Alternatively, what if you just pulled off all of the paper on this side? That is to say, instead of tracing all these lines and cutting out the strips, you just took off all the paper. Well, it will definitely fold, but the difficulty in making a precision bend right where you want it, I found actually is more tedious and takes more time than cutting out these little strips. And so, if you're feeling particularly skilled, give it a try, but I think the strip method is the most foolproof. You'll see when the, you use the half-inch strip method when you, when you fold it and then unfold it, the foam is still intact, and so the integrity is preserved by using that. So what if you want to make a fuselage that's not a square cross-section? This is a, a two inch, two inch, two inch, one and one. This will give a two by two inch square. But this one I'm making is going to be two inches tall by three inches wide. So the intervals go like this, one and a half inches, half inch for the radius, two inches, half inch, three inches, two inches, and one and a half. So when folded up, this one half, one and a half, one and a half equals the three inches in the center. Now what if you want to taper the fuselage like this motor glider towards the tail? It's pretty easy. Just reduce the intervals at the other end of your foam board down to the desired interval. For example, this is two inches at this end. Maybe we want to make this one inch here. Just be sure that the, the center stays the center that all the lines converge towards that center and that the radius intervals are still half an inch to allow you to fold it. But be advised, the smaller you make this interval at the end, the harder it's going to be to, to make the actual uh, fold when you're ready to roll up your fuselage. So here's kind of a very rough facsimile of what that would look like, where this is the narrow end, the wide end of the fuselage, but the center is still oriented straight down the piece of the foam board. Now the question is whether to take or leave the paper along the long sides of the fuselage. We'll save a little bit of weight by taking this out, but also sacrifice a little bit of strength. And also, once the fuselage tube is folded up, the sides will gradually assume a more curved shape, sort of oblong, which can look kind of cool in certain aircraft, but just be aware that if you're going to mate a flat wing onto one side, leave at least that side flat, and I would recommend leaving the paper on the inside. Whatever you do, don't take the paper off the outside, whether it's covered or not at this stage. One little trick I like to use is doing these little hatches, simply made by cutting three sides of a rectangular square. I usually reinforce this with some duct tape, it's just a little bit more durable on the inside and out. You put a little tab that you can grab like that to close it, and then you can either use magnets or a piece of tape to hold that shut. Similar here is my power glider or motor glider. The same kind of a access door. 
and the peace drone. Same kind of thing. It's a very handy place to put your electronics and battery. Here's a little random trick to help get hot glue that's spilled over onto the tape off. It sticks weirdly tightly to this plastic tape in a way that I don't think it shouldn't should, but um, if you use dust off, and I really highly recommend not using this excessively because it's bad stuff, but you can turn the can upside down, which it tells you not to on the can, and freeze that glue, make it really, really cold and brittle, and you can usually with a fingertip just pull it right off like that, leaving the tape intact. Here's the RC69, which uses one full piece of foam board, so that's five inches across and bends all the way around, giving a nice smooth curve and a joint only at the bottom. It's 30 inches long from beneath the empennage where the foam board ends up until this point and after that it's just depapered foam board. Here's my little ugly EDF jet that's got a four inch section of the tubular fuselage which is I've tapered down here and I've removed a wedge on the bottom and used those pieces to create the EDF inlets on both sides as it's already sort of bent into that shape. It's a good way to recycle the cutoff material.